I have been using Docker for a while and to manage and monitor my Docker images and containers on my local machine, I usually use Docker desktop and that is on my main PC. But I found a tool that gives you a UI in your terminal to manage and monitor Docker containers and images. And the tool is called Lazy Docker. So this video, I wanna showcase that tool. So it'll be a quick one, but I think you'll find it really helpful. Uh, I've been using it for a few weeks now, and I think you'll like it too. So here is the GitHub repo for Lazy Docker, right? And it is written in Go. So the tool itself is in Go. And you can see here a quick demo of how it will look in the terminal. So basically, if you have maybe a server that just has you know, command line access. So in my case, I have a Linux laptop that I run most of these containers and, um, you know, Kubernetes stuff. And I usually SSH into it. So this tool really helped me and I'll show you. But this is how it looks like. You know, you can look at logs, stats, and um, you can also monitor the amount of resources your Docker container is using. And the installation steps are pretty easy. So if you have homebrew, you could basically do brew install this command, right? And then if you have scoop or choco, you can use either of these command on Windows. Um, there's also one uh, command with the binary release uh, that is just one step. And you can run this basically on Linux or Windows machine. So I'll open my terminal here. So right now I am I have SSH'd into my Linux uh, laptop that I was mentioning, right? I'll quickly showcase you what lazy Docker looks like. So I don't have the path specified yet. So in order to run it, I just do this instead. And there you go. So basically right now I only have Minikube running on this laptop and you can see um, this is basically the lazy Docker interface and it does support mouse. Um, so if I click on the images, you can see, you know, I'm able to click it with my mouse, but you can also use the arrow keys to kind of navigate through the UI itself. Um, so I have three images right now. I guess I, yeah, I kind of cleaned up this machine um, because I was running out of space. And you can see that I have the Minikube running with almost 7% of CPU being utilized. You can look at the logs. You can look at the stats, right? So you have your CPU usage. You can also look at the environment settings, the config itself, and the top. So this is basically running htop or top command within your container. You can look at images, right? Any of the volumes that you have. So in my case, it's the Minikube and the networks. So I have bridge network and then some other networks for Minikube that are set up. And you can click on Rishabh Kumar, which is my user in this case, right? Um, to look at the details for Lazy Docker. And you can kind of edit this config to make changes to how things look within the terminal. So basically that's Lazy Docker in a nutshell. And you can also look at the commands that are available at the bottom if like maybe you're using PuTTY, which doesn't have, you know, mouse control. So you can kind of look at the keyboard commands that will help you navigate. So if I press Q, you can exit it. But here is my Windows machine, right? through which I'm recording this video basically. And I want to install Lazy Docker here too, because I've been using Docker desktop and I think after using it for two weeks on this machine, I kind of really like it. So what are we going to do is go back to the GitHub repo. So for my Windows machine, because I use Chocolatey, I'm just going to do Choco install, but you could also use Scoop or any of the other methods listed here. I'm going to go into my terminal, type in Choco install Lazy Docker, hit enter, and then Chocolatey will install Lazy Docker for me. Yes. And now we just wait. Okay. So I think it does take care of setting the path variable for you. So let's try running the command Lazy Docker. Okay, there we go. So it did run and seems like I have some errors that it cannot be, it could not connect to Docker itself that might be because I don't have Docker running. So let me quickly fix that. Okay, so the Docker engine is running now. So let's run lazy Docker again. And there we go, no errors this time. Uh, we have two containers that are not running at the moment and I have one image uh, or two images. So one of them is the QR code thing and the Grafana thing that I'm building for Learn to Cloud. But yeah, that is basically the tool in nutshell. And as I said, I have been using this for last couple of weeks and I really like this tool. There were no major issues that I ran into. I think this will be my go-to how I monitor and manage my 
containers on both my Windows and Linux machine here. So yeah, go check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think about this tool, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.